kind of NCAA tournament thus far that people would expect of a guy that's first team all conference. But Butler seems to pick their spots and everybody gets involved. Routen's deep. Oh. And Gus, that's the first time they get even more patient. Door three. Halfway down, pops out. Routen's picks it up. Routen's downtown. Count. View of where he can kick the ball. Trish deep. Short. Batted around and Jackson with the rebound. Routens. Pure. Andy Routens. Right now Syracuse doing a much better job covering the passers, tightening the zone, and forcing Butler in the perimeter shooting team. Riley to Routens up top. Oh, again. Andy Routens against the 2-3 that short corner you get a guy there who's nifty and can read and is decisive you can find some buckets routes and he hits 16 points and don't forget the winner here will go on to take take on Butler in Salt Lake City next week routes 20 footer count it Andy routes what a, what a quick shot again he didn't even appear to have a sight of the basket before he turned and shot that. Gonzaga certainly has to be more patient. They get Harris with 16 points in the first half, and Andy Routen. Not and that's what Gonzaga has to do. They're in a deep hole. Defense rebounding and aggressive attack of the zone is going to help dig them out. Routens again. Andy Routens within the... Watch any game from the tournament live at NCAA.com. Routen's quick release again. It's unfortunate Lennox couldn't handle it, but ultimately turned out okay on that possession. 66-41. Routen's again. Ooh. <laughs> Man. Man. Unity of what the styles are. And by comparison, obviously the Pac-10 teams have taken full advantage of those comparisons, of those uh, particular styles. Syracuse. He didn't seem worried about the history of these two teams. Robert D got it. He's next round to take on Gonzaga, who defeated Florida State. Now Routens. Father Leo played at Syracuse to the basket up and in. It's on the catamount and a turnover to start the second half. Well, that was one Joseph to the other. Routens knocks down a three to start the second half. Oh, again, up and in. VL battling. And now Vermont gets back into the 2-3. And they're extending it now. With an eye on Routens. Yeah, they need to look to cover shooters and challenge the shooters. Ooh. Semi-transition situation, all the better. Routens off the screen, coming off maybe his worst game of the year against Louisville. Was just one of nine from the field, but he lit up Georgetown during the regular year. Here's White at the high post, one dribble, and then finds Clark, and he cannot find it from out there so far. Jardine finds Routens in transition. Hit on that catch. Johnson. Short. Good play by Jackson. Extra opportunity here for Syracuse on this possession. Double team comes to Trish. That leaves Rottens open. Third three for Andy Rottens. And Rottens tapped it to Joseph. Here's Routens on the other end, all the way to the basket with the left hand. Per game during the regular season, only five points per game last year. Here's Routens, he'll let it fly. Got the three! Routens taking over to the left hand. He sure did, one hand bounce pass. Wapshire and Samuels a little more comfortable handling the ball, but... 
He made me eat my words. Good look. Anuaka with a good look, and Routen buries a three. Boy, that's great court. And inside out, right? You know, establish the interior, then the threes become a lot easier. Both Syracuse can knock them in from deep. Andy Routens with the two hundred behind the basket here. And uh, St. John's has adjusted well so far, tying it at 11. Routens for three, dead out. With 12 and a half here to go in the first. I did the Kansas upset the other day. And they don't have quite this balance. Routens tripled it up and in with Booth in pursuit. Timeout, St. John's. Well, the unselfishness with which they play. Yep, it, it's it, they're fun to watch. I don't think there's any doubt about that. You can ask the 34,000 who were here the other night. And they love cheering for two of the homegrown players. St. John's got a touch inside. They swing it back outside the horn for three. They were three for six at one point in the first half, and they end up three for 11. Oh my! Senior. The best numbers in every category for him in his senior season. A Pena turnover. That's where Syracuse is so alert. Robbins comes up with that steal because he's paying attention to where the ball is. And I can give Pena full marks for the effort that he put in on the glass in the first half. You know, that's a tough start for Syracuse, really, because you don't want them to get a second-chance basket to start the second half. Robbins, he doesn't need much time or not this time for Jackson. Rebound Joseph. Routen shakes his defender. Knocks down another one. The Flyers now already have knocked down five three-pointers in the first eight minutes. Five of their first seven field goals are threes, but, you know, I mean, it's a Syracuse team despite that has an eight-point lead. So it's just, they've got to find a way to get something going defensively. They really haven't done anything at all defensively. Providence is the sixth leading scoring team in the country. Routes for three. Got it. I mean, they're doing it with the whole ball of wax. That is tough. Twelve points for Brooks. Jackson jump hook. Rebound on the floor. Coming up with it is Joseph. Routes for three. As you make a bunch of those against Georgetown to silence the crowd on. Whoever, if he keeps making those, Kino will run a point wherever he wants. He's got 15 first half points. Nine from behind the arc. Shot clock is off. If Providence had the ball, they'd get two, three shots off here. <laughs> but Syracuse will play for one. Routen for three. Got it. Providence has to hurry. Not very good time. That's a big, big part of why that shooting percentage is so high. Look at that. Six turnovers in Providence second half. Syracuse has none. And those turnovers often translate into high percentage shots. Routens for three. If he gets in Louisville, Georgetown was down six at the half. They've outscored Louisville 18-2 in the second half. And here's a bad turnover for Providence. And Andy Routens will turn that into an easy one. Since then, a 23-2. 23 to 2 run. Numbers. Two on one. Routens pull up three. Two plus one equals what? Three. And then Curry comes away. Three on three. Takes it to the middle. Crowd caught Johnson goaltending. Here's Syracuse. It's a three on two. Routens to three. You know, he makes that look easy. But I've been to NBA camps. And they will visit Pitt. Curry with the runner in the lane. 19 points for Curry. His 20th double figure scoring effort of the season. God imploring the Flyers to make a stop. Down 10. Inside the six minute mark. Rock just equaled his career high with his seventh three. He's got Reynolds. Not likely Andy Roberts in that discussion <laughs> as well. The steal by Jackson. Well, that wouldn't be one that would be very popular, but if you watch the Syracuse team play, he's been amazing. And fans at the Carrier Dome will have a chance to see Johnson, Brown, and Reynolds all on the same floor on Saturday night. Number eight, Villanova, against number four, Syracuse. One game separates them in the Big East standings right now. And Brown's with another three. What else does he have to do for you?
misses from the elbow. And here come the Orange. They came all the way from behind. You mentioned the Connecticut game. He had 28 in the second half. He was brilliant. Freeman. And hit three early threes in the game up at Syracuse before Georgetown went cold. Syracuse won an 11-0 spurt at the end of the half and then dominated the second half. Jackson looking for Anuaku, can't get it to him. And now Routens for three and a good sign early for Syracuse. That's a 64 that he's weekend. I'm going to have a great time there, though. I'll be thinking about you guys. Looking forward to it. It's going to be a great scene up at the Carrier Dome. They had over 30,000 for the game against Louisville on Sunday. Jackson lost it on the way up. John Thompson says that's got to be a travel. Doesn't get the call. And Routens knocks down another jumper. Routens squares his body. So it's Syracuse. And there's the Georgetown start of the game they lost up at Syracuse last month. And almost as impressive a start for Syracuse here to begin this game. Georgetown has dropped into a 2-3 zone. Yeah, played a 2-3 zone on the inbounds from the baseline. It doesn't look as imposing as the Syracuse 2-3. Routens, another one. Put a hand in his face. Freeman was right in his face. Right no. Tough shot right there, shooting that floater over the sides inside. Routens with a shot fake, frees himself up, and buries another three. He did a great job, Daniel. Gotta get going. Unless he has a sensational second half, this will be all Syracuse. He's too valuable today. Routens again. Another one. He does a terrific job freeing himself. Using that one. Had two possessions with a good score. Smart right now. Be a little patient. Routens off the screen. Wow. You talk about money. I tell you what, he's looking like Steve Wolford. You Watshire gets Louisville on the board nearly four minutes in as a pitcher's duel, four to two. <laughs> Routen, baseline jumper. Randy Routen, boy play. Rick Jackson on the bench now with two fouls for Syracuse. The Orange lead is three as we're down to four and a half minutes left in the first half. Routen's tripped as he passed to Joseph. Appears to be all right as he gets back to his feet. And again, Joseph in the middle of that zone, able to make up his mind, make a decision in midair. Routen's another deep three. And they do it again. You play with fire too often. Sooner or later, you will get burned. Here's Joseph leading a rush for Syracuse. The Jardine, and now Routen's bidding a tie in with a deep three. Maris three wouldn't go, but Buckles is there. Good defense by Joseph and Onawaku. Jardine, Routens another three. Only on the Big East Network, check your local listings. Well, Syracuse has done a nice job of, of staying with what they do. And that is, they're going to continue to attack Cincinnati and push the basketball up and down the floor. And they, they're right where they want to be, down three on the road. That's routing for three to tie. So he's picked it up uh, as the games have gotten more important. And you know, Anthony, that's a good point. The stats that really mean the most are the conference stats. No question about it, because that is, especially in this conference, that's when it when you pay big dividends. Routens with his second three. Scoops it up and scores. Deontay Vaughn's second field goal. Well, John, you got to stop the basketball. Surprised that uh, Andy Routens didn't get the ball under control. Routens with his third three-point that Cuts off a 6-0 Syracuse run. Routens inside on Oahu. Good matchup against Gates. Gets it back to Robbins for three. Bending good. And that's the one for three that time. Doing a nice job of moving without the basketball. Really looking for his shot. Quick shot off the inbound play. That's the first. Penetrates. Dumps it down low. And Anawaku just takes it right away from Tom. Here's Robbins to lay it home. Andy with 18 points. The NCAA tournament. First and second rounds. Redone. A really nice job. Robbins for three. That's what he does best. That time by Brooks. He's in double figures with ten. Right. The drive up from Bristol. I, I spoke with Keno Davis, and he could not be more effuse. 
in his praise of Vincent Council. And 25 minutes in, I can definitely see why. Rowdy's for three. And That's his second. He said, you know, look, you never want to lose a game, but the pit loss might have come at just the right time. Rowdy's has eight. Very difficult shot to complete. DePaul without a field goal over the last five minutes. Why? What has happened? Because no cost wall, and they quit making the extra pass. You cannot expect guys to knock down all these bailout running one-handers and deep threes all day long. It just doesn't happen, especially against an active zone like Syracuse that's long, got long arms, and they really make it work to get a shot. Rodden's open for three. Got to get a timeout, Trey. Mazukas needs to get it in. Tried to get it to Koshwar. Koshwar was held by the foul. Didn't get the call. Rodden's at the other end. Brooke hit a big three off of a sophomore from Arlington, Virginia. Now, boy, an unsung really does a lot of nice things. Keeps it alive on the rim. Guards, hustles. Rodden's a quick three. It's that zone and the finish by Monroe. Six points off the feed from Jarrell Benneman off the bench. The freshman out of Warrington, Virginia. So many playmakers in the middle of that zone. And just like Luke Herringote, they're doing a good job of staying behind the zone. Wow, how about that quick catch and shoot? By Andy Rauder, particularly from the corner, and that one flanged on the rim a couple of times and would not drop. Four minutes in, and Syracuse with five points now on a deep angle look, and he gets those puppies squared up and a great looking stroke. Abramitis has all seven points for Notre Dame, and the response <laughs> by Rout. The Diggers family Diggers still here. Picture, uh, yeah. He's going to take care of the shortfall on the seats, you know, just send a check at the end of the year. Tomorrow, by the way, as Routen fires another one, he is red hot to start it. Tomorrow, and Johnson up in the air to rebound it. He's Syracuse's leading scorer and rebounder. Pulls down almost nine boards a game. <laughs> Routen is on fire. <laughs> And the Texas right now goes into Bramlage at number one. And he's stepping up at the right time. Four straight 20 plus point games. Ten double doubles already this year. Routens looking for his fifth wow. three in the night. Did he walk to? Wow. Stretches the D with the ability to knock down the tray. The knees aren't anywhere near the line. They're three or four feet off. Routens a great fake to get Pepper airborne. And it spins in. A three. three. Boy, he's very good. And Jones, where they played. And Ebanks certainly has that kind of talent, although he's been up and down. Routens with a fall away. Yeah, very oh, sweet touch. He did. Odawaku's been quiet. Nice the miss tip. tipped in by Andy Routens. The follow through rendered him. Routens catches, shoots, buried it. A two. Beatty just justified Fred Hill's confidence in starting him for the first time this year. Junior college player from Miami Dade. He is all juiced up. Two time MVP at Miami Dade, one of the top 40 junior college players in the country. Routens answers. Coming off that rim. Yeah. John Cal, Ryan O'Connell, and Gene Caratore. Wearing the striped shirts, blowing the whistles, and Routens lighting it up with three. Man, I'll tell you what. And they need some offense. Your heart kind of goes out to Rosario. Here's easy bucket to break away. Routens, uh, another bucket. He's got eight in the game. Ten, that's pretty impressive. No doubt about that. And uh, he's a player. He's going to be first team all league. There's no question about that. That's and there's no question ball. about the no. silkiness. <laughs> This year has been a struggle to say the least in the Big East games. Rosario scoring 517 points, setting a freshman scoring record last year. Yes. Look at this. Look at this. It's only by Rutgers, and again it's Miller. A little scoop shot. Well, if that would have went Bob, that would have brought the house down. Time for Wesley Johnson to get involved. Routon says maybe next time, Bob. I'm gonna knock <laughs> In 2003, Syracuse won the national championship, and they lost in this building that year. Catch and shoot. He's got the hot doors. That's probably the first time we've seen South Florida be able to run in transition. They did a good job of moving the ball up before the defense had time to set. Need some defense here, however. Rotten's got an open look. Made him pay. That's a three. 
And it's a 12-point game. And now you hear the crowd trying to get back into it. Syracuse has taken a few quick shots the last couple possessions. Haven't moved the ball the way they'd liked. This game was 12 points at halftime. Again, up to more, up to 20. And USF has cut it down. In the corner, Routens. Oh, that'll bring them alive. And get to some have a chance to get to the free throw line. Now a turnover as Williams got trapped. Jardine kicks to Routen. Syracuse takes the lead. Hold it for the last shot with the shot clock turned off. I think Syracuse, the Memphis press isn't really set up to get the ball. It's set up again to take away some time from Syracuse on the offensive end. Now let's, you want to get going at, at they're going a little bit too long before they get started. Deep three routes ties the game. Only turnover stand, but Syracuse has missed a total of 20 points with things that have happened around the bucket. Fouls, uh, shots around the bucket. That makes a huge difference. Uh, just half of those 20 points. And Syracuse, he tried to do there. You've got to pass in front of the drive or even with the drive. And if Memphis has a result of the, the extended pressure here in the second half, Memphis has scored only eight points. Back-to-back -back successful trips down the floor for the Panthers, and back to within two. Coming into this game, Pitt is the best team defensively in the Big East. And watch this matchup here. Gilbert Brown trying to play defense down low on Jackson. Can't leave that open. Well, you see what they had was they try to bring a trap. Gilbert Brown playing physical, getting dirty, getting a rebound, sharing the basketball. Nice first possession for Pittsburgh. 11 of 13 opponents this year. They've held to 60 points or under. Trying to hold down the top scoring team in the Big East, but Routen is on the nice cut. The familiar faces are gone, and we haven't heard a lot about them. Don't forget that they've been playing without two of their two players for most of the season. This is only their fourth game with a full complement of players as they didn't have Dixon due to that foot injury or Gilbert. Coming off the bench here tonight. That's why you just can't settle for the long ball the entire evening if you're Seton Hall. You must get the ball to the middle of the floor and then go baseline or vice versa against the zone. Routens catch the shoot. Wow! Knocks down the three. He was saying in the offseason he had uh, a lot of playing time as a freshman last year, Jim, but uh, he wanted more time. He's getting about 22 minutes, and I think he's pushed Eugene Harvey a little. Rupp, nothing but the bottom. He's back. back. Yeah, looking for a foul not there. Big rebound by Johnson. Routens with the easy layup. Oakland hanging with Syracuse down low in the paint. Trish takes it away from Benson. Behind the back. And Big follow, can't get it. Here comes Syracuse. 
Routon, some nice dribbling. Scoop Jardine in, spelling Brandon Trish. Routon's for three. Got it again. Rhythm. For that, if you're going to pull from 24, 25 feet, that's just a sign that, jo that zone is extended. That's a, not a low percentage shot. Andy Routon, soft touch on the baseline. Against that Florida pressure. These two guards up top are quick. And Florida's having trouble right now turning it over themselves. Great ball movement back and forth between Jardine and Rottens. And the rebound is Rottens. So that two's by four. Rottens will back it out. I don't have to worry about a shot clock by either team tonight, that's for sure. Rotten's just inside the three-point line, buried it. Everybody just opened the door for him a little bit. Back to a four-point game. Rotten steps back and got it just inside the three-point line. Florida by two. Oh, ho, ho. ice in the van to go Syracuse with a six-point advantage. Rotten's all the way in with the left hand. Doesn't shoot many two-pointers. They ain't trying to hang in. They can't get anything going inside. Four block shots in the first four minutes for the Orange and two of those for Johnson. Routens will try one. Look good all the way, and it was. Absolutely. See how when he's in rhythm, he's moving. Here he was just under 30% last year. Apparently, that was not a shooting foul. Got him on the floor with a reach. All right. Two quick fouls on the Black Bears. From the corner, Andy Routens. Now two behind Devendorf. A nice friendly bounce, and Colgate's on the board. And he gets his first three of the season. The freshman point guard not known for his outside shooting. Andy Routon is known for his three-point shooting, and he buries it. Syracuse off to a quick start. Well, we talked about Bayheim in the orange. Certainly, Jardine has been a pleasant surprise for those outside of the program as he has grown and developed and just gotten that much better here as a redshirt sophomore. I put in a lot of time, especially with Mike Hopkins working on his lower body strength as Routon steps right into it. Nice spin movement. Got caught in midair and, and pinned. Could not put it on the glass. Now Routens knocks one down. Andy Routens. Three point shot and air ball by Peck. Picked out of the air by Joseph. And here comes Trish. Back to Routens. Spotting up again and he knocks it down. Now that's two guys playing at each other's strength. Brandon Trish off. Good skip pass to find him. And he got a terrific looking stroke. When the ball leaves his hands, you think it's going in. There's the first field goal of the second half for Syracuse. It comes from Andy Routens, who now has 13 points to lead the Orange. Just seven, but they've got six turnovers already here in the first six minutes. Routens for three, and the Orange have extended that lead to 15. And if you're Steve Donahue, you've got to start. For North Carolina, they need a lot of scoring out of Graves. He can shoot the ball. They need some perimeter shooting. That's their big question mark. Point guard play and the ability to make the perimeter shot. Oh, he can shoot it. Routen, he can three. shoot it. Put it in a bag. He likes this, huh? Oh, it's, I tell you one thing. <laughs> that kid likes the stage. He likes the big stage. Joseph the steal. Uh -oh. Routens for three. That's a layup, man. They come down and trans himself. Taking the ball in the basket with Trish and then on a walk on the interior. Yin Yard two with air an air ball. Two attempts, two air balls by the Tar Heels from beyond the arc. Nice look to Routens. Nice shot fake. Knocks it down. Wow. Beautifully done. I'll tell you the shot. Brothers the ball. They're knocking down shots right now for the Tar Heels and getting big minutes. But what they're not doing, they're not able to defend inside North Carolina. Not physical enough yeah. to handle the interior game of Syracuse. And again, it's Davis who has been trying to defend on Oaku. Oh, and you're out and wide open. Wow. You got big points. It's going to rely on the three-point shot. I think they're going to take it inside. I think that they're going to try to work Syracuse's zone a little bit. If they don't, they're going to get in deep trouble. Here. Andy Routens. Deep trouble if Routens gets open. Hits seven-three. Bayheim will play usually about eight guys. 
But they've got some options this year. They've got some talent. They've got Andy Routens who gets the roll on the tough layup looking for the foul call that he didn't get. At the beginning of the game. You know, that was a great move Syracuse made offensively with a high low to start the second half. Going right inside with it, although it wasn't successful. They keep going. There it is again. High low. He's going to do something here. Picks it back out. Routens a deep three. Andy Routens. Defensive man. Both ends of the floor. He didn't score, but he, last year he had 52 steals. And he's got to be a step-up guy after they lost Johnny Flynn, a guy who leads them not only on the court, but in the locker room as a leader. Johnny Flynn gone. Eric Devendorf, Paul Harris. That's 55% of the scoring for Syracuse. Boy, they need that. And finally, 78-47 over Division II, Shippensburg. Robert Morris with a one-point lead. This is Routens. Jackson with it. They'll double on him. Routens another look. His second three. Drives coaches crazy. Well, they heard it right there on the sideline from the, the Hall of Fame coach. Ten point lead for Syracuse. Routens looking for his third three. Barrows it. And the Routens. Routens puts it on the floor. One dribble. Let's it fly. He's got four threes here in the first half. Right. Down for the orange near his own bench. Oh. Routens is open, looking for his fifth three, and he's got it. Five three. East Conference. And they are predicted to finish third behind Mount St. Mary's in Long Island this year. Quinnip Quinnipiac under Tom Moore, former Jim Calhoun assistant, also has a very good team. Routens another three. Threes for Syracuse this evening. Now they've got numbers. Three on two if they hurry up. Trish with the basketball. Routens is open. Another three. Yes!